Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Welcome to the Morning Coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verses 16 to 30. It says, He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed over to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were focused on him. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel reflection. Today we start from the Gospel of St. Luke. We already have done our reflection on the book of Matthew. Now today we start from the Gospel of St. Luke. People will admire you when you know how to admire them in return. This mutual admiration is based on scratching each other's back, which is not authentic. It comes from a mutual need. And, of course, it is not based on reality or it is not based on real need. Jesus could say good words to his townmates or neighbors or relatives to win them to his side. He could neutralize them with praise or praises and sweet talks just to flatter them. But he does not use it. He prefers to tell them the truth. He prefers to tell them not with sweet talks and sweet words, but with the true knowledge of who they really are. And this does not set well with the assembly. They feel they are insulted by the frank, frank words of Jesus. And so, they rise as one to do him harm. If Jesus is not centered and calm, he would have been lost in the flow of their violent emotions, their anger. But Jesus walks calmly against their turbulent reaction and goes his way out. When one remains cool-headed despite heated emotions, one can always stay above the chaos. Today, Jesus is in his own hometown in Nazareth. It was the Sabbath day and as was his custom, he went to the synagogue. When he entered the synagogue, Jesus stood up to read the scripture. 
he was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And then he said this following passage, The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and proclaim a year that is acceptable to the Lord. Then he rolled up the scroll and stated, Take note of this. Today, this passage is fulfilled in your hearing. Today, this passage is fulfilled in your hearing. I've been trying to ask myself, what could have been the cause? Why his home townmates are reacting this way to Jesus? Using the term angry at him. And maybe, just maybe, it is this word that he says in the gospel today that some kind of boost or motivated the people to be feeling that way when he said today this passage is fulfilled in your hearing why maybe because all these people in the assembly knew him they have seen him grow up maybe they have seen him played around and maybe Jesus had been eaten in their homes during those times when he was growing up. And here comes Jesus going back to his own place. He is now a, a preacher, a teacher. So with all this, maybe because of these prejudices, that made them say na, that made them conclude that he is different among us now. He is now teaching us and preaching us on the word of God. As I have said, they knew him well. Since he was so familiar with them, it would have been easy for them to dismiss him. However, they spoke highly of him initially. And they were amazed at his ability to preach. Yet they said also, Is this not the son of Joseph the carpenter? Where did he get all his knowledge and all this wisdom? So Jesus was aware that a prophet was not accepted in his own hometown. Yet he also desired to share the good news with his own people. He had known with his people he had known from childhood. Sadly, the people did not open their minds and hearts to him. He was too familiar from what they expected him to be. After all, who did he think he was to come and preach to them? Did he believe he was better than they were? The townspeople became so angry at him that they threw him out of town, intending to push him off the cliff. He simply was too much to them. However, Jesus sadly yet calmly walked through the crowd and went away. Our challenge Imagine the roller coaster of emotions. That Jesus must have experienced in this moment. These were the people who had watched him grow, who supposedly knew him too well. He had grown up with them, played with them, eaten in their homes, and worshipped together. Yet now they were rejecting him simply because he was acting differently. And sadly, they refused to listen to him preach. Luke writes, he was too much for them. That's according to St. Luke, based on the gospel today. Have you experienced being rejected 
because you were not the person a family member or a friend expected you to be. Even good people get jealous, envious, and even angry at times. And have there been situations in your life when you rejected another person because they were not being the person you expected them to be? I would assume that all of us have been in both sides of the fence. Today, I invite you to be mindful of your own self. It is true that judgment often is automatic and almost unconscious. However, when we become aware we are judging others, we then can choose to stop and let God be the judge. It will free us and it will free other people too. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the fulfillment of our hope and desires. Your Holy Spirit bring us grace, truth, life, and freedom. Fill me with the joy of the gospel and inflame my heart with love and zeal for you and for your will. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay, so para to mga kapatid, don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you once again and magandang buhay. May God bless us all. And see you tomorrow.